Using Cilium and Hubble together is a no-brainer because it gives you rich data at that eBPF kernel level. Um, not that you need to know eBPF to understand all that data because Hubble actually makes use of it for you so you can dive straight into the network flows. And that's where we're going to concentrate today as part of a new Hubble Enterprise feature, which is the Network Policy Tracker. And that allows us to troubleshoot network policies using the Hubble Enterprise UI that I have in front of us. So first and foremost, if I go to the flows section, we're actually just going to back off this for the time being, and we're going to go to a live view of my demo application that's running inside of my environment in a namespace called tenant job. So we can see here, there's a couple of different components to it that are running. We've got a crawler app. It's making some calls externally to a well-known website. We've got uh, known uh, common services inside of our application, such as Kafka, Elasticsearch, uh, Zookeeper there as well. We've even got those identified little icons as well. And here you can either see we're getting layer seven information swaps. We've got a network policy that uh, has been deployed as part of that. So that's all up and running inside of our environment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable uh, Hubble Timescape, which allows us to go back into historical data and flows inside of our environment. I'm going to untick the live view. It gives me my time range here to select from that pulls that data from our time state, uh, timescape setup. I've already left it set here to the time that I deployed the network policy in my environment. And first, you'll see on the flows table, now can we see the flows that we are now, uh, we've now captured for this application. We can actually see the details of the network policies that have been created in my environment and when they were created. And we're going to dive into that into a little bit more detail in a moment using the policies view of the Hubble Enterprise UI. First and foremost, I'm going to go into my um, terminal window. I'm just going to uh, make a little bit of a change here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete one of those uh, network policies already. That's going to cause some instability inside of my environment. And we're going to start to see flows denied, for example. And we're also are going to make a erroneous change to one of our layer seven policies within inside of this environment as well. So here we're going to replace the ports to an invalid port. Um, and again, we're going to use the network policy views out of Hubble Enterprise to troubleshoot that going forward. So if I now go back into my timescape environment, so one of the things that we need to do is wait for these events just to be ingested into the time state uh, uh, database. So what we can also do to see where we're up to with that, using timescapes, we have some profound dashboards that allow us to pull information what's going on at the ingestion rate. So these are available out of the box when you deploy Timescape as well. Just go through the Isovalent Enterprise documentation on how to set these up. See that my uh, ingestion is running and we can see what the latest flow is that's being captured inside of my environment as well. So we're just going to wait a couple of minutes for that to catch up and then we'll see this visualize on the Hubble Enterprise UI. Okay, so we can now see that we've caught up with our flows. We can even see that this K8 events field has also caught up as well because there was a captured change at the Kubernetes level for that policy change tracker component. So let's go back into our Hubble Enterprise UI. I'm now going to update my time frame to my later time in the future. And now we can see, as I mentioned, we've got those flows that are dropping here. So we can see that's because we've deleted one of those policies. And we can also see as well, um, we have these two orange dots uh, listed here, and that shows us one, that policy has been deleted. And if we hover over the second one, that another policy has been updated as well. So let's see that into a little bit more detail. So I'm going to hover over that first policy again into delete and click view policy. This takes into the policies view within the Hubble Enterprise UI. And we can see it's already selected the historic policy as well. So what you'll notice in this latest version is that we now have this component here, which is our change tracker. And it shows us when the created version and also the deleted version. Because there was no changes to this particular policy, there's kind of not too much to, to see there. But we still have the ability now we can download this policy and then we can reapply it to our cluster as well so that we can ensure that those flows work as expected going forward. Um, if I go back to my flows environment, we also know that we had an issue with our layer seven ingress visibility. So let's click to view that policy as well. 
So here again, we've got a very similar view, but we can see that this has changed to updated. We've also got a little bit of a different button here, and that allows us to show the differences between the previous policy and the current policy that's in place. Now, if I highlight that, it looks a little bit like a Git uh, diff output, which is very handy. And then we can see what actually changed. So here we can see that my kubectl command changed the port numbers that were available. So what we can now do is if I go back to the creative, so now we can download that file. I'm going to click here to download there. See, so yeah, I've already got two copies of that already. And then we're going to reapply that back into my environment. So if I go into my uh, terminal window, new kubectl, apply in the namespace of tenant jobs hyphen f uh, file and then if i just drag all those files across this is the one that i had earlier i can reapply that back to my environment and that will update what's happened there and then again what's going to happen shortly is we'll get a new version of this here and we can go back and see that, that part has been reverted back and that's just a quick overview of the new feature which allows us to troubleshoot network policies inside of our environment really easy um, in a differential type way as well and actually correlate that back to the verdicts of flows that we see with inside of our environment as well so really great to know one if a policy that has either been applied to an environment or has been altered inside an environment is actually having a positive and negative effect that you expect it to have so for example, if you meant to uh, stop traffic inside of your environment, or maybe you wanted to allow traffic in your environment, you have a quick and easy way to see that. And then also we even double check the uh, configuration of those policies without having to go back to your cluster or into maybe a CI CD system and source control to see what change we made there. First and foremost, you can do it all from this one easy interface. Thank you very much.